Here, will you stop pacing up and down, please? Because you're making me feel really queasy. And you've been all good to share, acting like the sky is falling in. Well, what if they think she did it? That's stupid. Why would Cher do away with George? I'm not saying she did it. I'm saying what if they think she did it? That is enough, OK? Right, we've got two McQueens with the police right now, and it doesn't matter who did what, because we do what we always do. We stick together and we have each other's backs, yeah? I ain't said anything. Good. Keep it that way. And in the meantime, we've got a pub to run. <sighs> hey, why are you mopping off to? I'm not. We've got a delivery, and you're right. We've got a pub to run. I'm always right. Oh, why have you still got a gob on? You think Cher did it? No, but... Well, what if it was an accident, like last time? Did you really just put the word accident in inverted commas? What I mean is, she deliberately pushed her. Didn't mean to kill her, but intended to push her. Listen, the only thing that Cher is guilty of is being a mardy cow. Yeah, you're right. She can't know we had this conversation. <sighs> So do you want to add that to the list of things that Cher should never, ever find out about? Cos you're not exactly in the running for Boyfriend of the Year, are you? Well, you're not exactly Stepmom of the Year either. Ooh, thought you was a bit winder. Hey, did our silver make you his special liver and onion stew last night? I won't be eating that rubbish. It's awful. <laughs> Do you get it? Awful. Awful. <sighs> Do you know what? I am wasted on you. I haven't even thought of, like, insides in a pie. Hey, you know what it is for you? It's stress. What you worried about. John Paul, Cher, that is your body feeling your mind's pain. You sound like Libby. Well, there's no need for that. What are you doing, you weirdo? Boobs. Saw, like, proper... Saw. You know what that means? Well, if it involves you and me brother in any way, shape or form, I don't want to know. <gasps> oh, my God, you're pregnant? Do you think? Well, I mean, you didn't eat your breakfast this morning. No, I'm like you, a very greedy. Shall I go get a test? Well, yeah, go on. Hey, <laughs> right. Keep that big gob shut of yours, OK? I don't want Silver getting his hopes up if I'm not. What, do you think I am an idiot? Uh... Oh. So what is all this online stuff about, then? You've got a serious amount of followers. How come they've all turned on you? You best ask Mercedes McQueen that question. Not a fan, then, I take it. Why did you say you were heartbroken about his death? Were you? I was sad for John Paul. So why did you say... You were heartbroken. Because I wanted some attention, OK? Are you happy now? I wanted to go viral and I wanted people to feel sorry for me. Attention-seeking. That was the issue with your sister, wasn't it? You brought her up, not me. You pushed her in that pool because you were jealous of all the attention she was receiving. The photo's been analysed. Just tell me, can I go or not? Look, Cher will be back soon, don't worry. I mean, I know Cohen looks stupid, but even she'll be able to tell that Cher didn't kill George. I just don't trust the police. I mean, look at John Paul. He went in voluntarily and he's not come back out yet. Oh, way to go, Mr Positivity. But he's right, though, isn't he? What if they arrest her? I'm going down there. They can't keep it there that long. It's not right. No, 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 no. Look, it's not going to help you going on the bounce to the police station, is it? No, Silver! Look, Mercedes wants you here by the time she gets back. Why? Cos... Cos what? Cos... She's got a new dress that she wants you to see. <laughs> Cher's out. Oh. She's on her way back now. Because she wants to show you a new dress she's got. You are an awful liar. Shut up, mate. I was like going to tell him that she was pregnant, was I? Can I go and see Romeo now? The photo was fake. There's nothing more to say. Romeo knows that you're out. He's waiting for you. Can we just have a few minutes to chat, please? Because you want to talk about how none of this is Mercedes' fault? You can't keep blaming her for everything. I can. If she hadn't commented on my post, she wouldn't have got everyone's backs up and they wouldn't have turned on me. 
That makes it her fault. She was just trying to help. Well, she didn't. If she wants to help, just tell her to leave me alone. Is it mine? Uh, no, it's from the wholesale. It's only a standard issue, though, so if you like the glass, take it. No. You're pregnant. How do you know? It's called you up into a big gop. Is the baby mine? <laughs> it's not funny. Are you trying to trap me? Because I'm not ready to settle down. I'm with Cher. Please. Please, babe, come on, take a seat. Hmm? At school, didn't they tell you about the birds and the bees? Hmm? And then did they tell you about the birds, the bees, and the umbrella? What? Condom. Romeo, we used a condom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Look, I am not gonna trap you into fatherhood, Romeo, right? Seriously, you need to let this little indiscretion go. I have, and I've made some big mistakes in my life, but oof, this was a stinker. All right. I didn't mean it like that. that it wasn't bad. It, a little bit quick, but it wasn't the worst. Damned by faint praise. Cheers. Sorry. Just not had loads of experience. Unlike you. Oh, do you want to smack in the gob? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love Silver, you love Cher, we're all in a good place right now. They can't find out about this. Find out about what? 